Hey everyone, I am Razvan and in this tutorial I will show you how to configure your automated tests in order to run on Firefox browser. In order to do that, I've created a set of simple steps. Download the web driver, add it to the system environment variables path if you are on Windows, otherwise you need to move it to the user bin folder. An alternative is to write an additional line of code in our scripts to set the web driver's path Otherwise, we will get an execution error. Shortly, I will practice all of these scenarios using examples. And the last step implies creating a driver object using the Firefox driver. Before we start, there are two prerequisites. Firstly, we need to have the Firefox browser installed on our local machines. And secondly, we have an existing Selenium project with all its necessary jar files imported in order to have both me and you the same starting point. If you don't have it, then you can find on this channel a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to create it. I will also add its link to this video's description. Okay guys, let's get to work. Let's download the Firefox driver. But before we do that, you may notice that its name is Geeko Driver. So let's open a new browser and type download Kiko driver. Click the first result about releases and this is the latest release and this is its version. And here we have a list of Firefox drivers for every operating system like Linux, Mac OS, Windows 32-bit and Windows 64-bit. We will choose this one. Save. Unzip. And now we are going to create a new folder for this Geeko driver. Paste the Geeko driver in, into this new folder. And because we are on a Windows platform, the next step is to add this folder's path into our uh, system environment variables. So let's do that by pressing the Windows key and type environment. Click environment variables and click path. But before we do that, we need to copy its uh, eco drivers path so right click properties and this is its path copy go back to the path click edit new and just paste it okay 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 cool In order to complete this tutorial, we will open our Eclipse. So, as you can see, there is an existing Selenium project with all its jar dependencies included already. So, let's make a simple test that opens a Firefox browser, for example. In order to do that, we need to create a new class, so right click on the source folder, new class. Let's say my super. My test class. Let's define our web driver. import webdriver 
and create an empty method. Let's say output test. Let's get back to our driver and let's see driver equal. This time it will be new Firefox driver. And we also need to import it. Driver dot get. Okay, so let's say that our test goes to the Gmail website, takes its title, and outputs it to our console. So it will be driver.get Gmail websites. Let's store its title in a new variable. String Gmail title equals driver.get title. And we need to print it in our console. Okay. At this moment, we have a method but we need to wrap it as a test using a test engine notation called test. Import test and let's run it. Right click, run as test engine. It should open a Firefox browser instance. And it does. Oops. Yeah, I forgot to, to close the browser when the ex execution is finished. Let me add a new line of code saying driver dot close. But we can also say driver dot quit the difference between these two is driver dot quit let's say it has a comment close this all browser windows and safely ends the session Let's type it. So and driver dot close. Basically, close the browser window that the driver has focus of okay it should be clear let's run it again okay let's check the console we have a total Tests run one. Our test output test, which is the name of our test method, it passed. Okay. And we should also find our 
Gmail title is and it's here as you can see Gmail title is Gmail this Gmail value is represented by our Gmail title variable so it worked yeah okay let's clear the console earlier I told you that we will practice some scenarios so let's see what happens to our execution if we remove the Giko drivers location from our system environment variables path This is our web drivers folder. Delete. Okay, okay, okay. And let's just rerun this scenario. Let's check the console. And this time we have total tests run one, but this time we have one failure. Let's keep scrolling. And as you can see, the execution failed because of this error, which says the path to the driver executable must be set by the driver key called driver system property. So, instead of adding its path to the system environment, uh, an alternative would be to specify it in our script using a system.setProperty method. Let's do that. So, before creating the, before we create the, the object, let's say system dot set property the first parameter is our uh, key code driver web driver dot key code driver you can see it here okay and the second parameter will be its path so it's, well, let's take it Go to its folder, right click properties and copy it. And you need to notice that we need to add the Gecko driver.exe. Everything looks fine now. Let's rerun the test. Total tests run one, failures zero. Our output uh, test passed this time. So, as you can see, everything works again. Our test has been successfully executed. Thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Happy testing!